from the studio to a ship to the sea floor. These sunken sculptures are the latest attractions at the Museum of Underwater Art, painstakingly installed to create a snorkel and dive trail on John Brewer Reef. This is the only underwater museum in the Southern Hemisphere and so it plays a, a, a vital and a really important role in, in Australia's tourism industry. The eight ocean sentinels were modelled off pioneering marine scientists and conservationists. Over time, they'll be colonised by sea life. And already they have a thin film of green algae that's forming. Already there's some starfish that have crawled up the side um, and there's some shoaling fish. So, yeah, they're certainly <laughs> adapting to the surroundings. Coral reef ecologist Dr Katerina Fabricius is one of the muses. Well, being immortalised in a sculpture normally happens to dead people. <laughs> So having that happen in my lifetime, um, yeah, it's, it's an honour, it's, it's a living piece of art that communicates to the people how important research is, how important coral reefs are. The sculptures were originally slated for Magnetic Island, but the project faced backlash from locals. There was many, many, many consultation opportunities. Uh, I don't think that's an issue at all. Another art project planned for Palm Island was also scrapped because it couldn't get approval from elders. The idea that they would cause division in a community was never something that, that we wanted. Instead, the Ocean Sentinels have joined the museum's existing coral greenhouse dive site. The waters of John Brewer Reef are sheltered, meaning the Museum of Underwater Art is mostly protected. Each sculpture has been anchored to the seabed and designed to withstand a Category 4 cyclone. I mean, they're, they're all, they're all uh, permanent creations. They're made from materials that you know, are very similar to rock. Uh, they're reinforced with a, a, a marine-grade stainless steel. Um, so yeah, the, the idea is that they sustain a reef and, and we want this reef to last a very long time. It's hoped the new permanent exhibit will help attract 15,000 visitors a year. It's quite, I don't know, surreal. Um, it was beautiful. The sculptures are designed for it to um, change over time. So, yeah, I'd like to go back. Inspiring curiosity about reef conservation.